It's all about safe isolation for me. It's all about self isolation for me. Why am I singing at a camera walking through the country lanes? God only knows. Uh, good morning, Portsmouth, South Sea, and Hampshire. We are out on delivery again. Oh, actually, we're not on delivery today. Today, we are going to get eggs from Romsey. Uh, farm in Romsey called Clayton's. Uh, they do our free range eggs for us to taste to feed all the breakfast and brunches that we do. But at the moment they are doing a great job at supplying us trays and trays of eggs to get out to people's houses uh, who can't get to the supermarket. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, it's another sunny, beautiful day in Hampshire. Um, hopefully everyone can get at least a bit of exercise today, getting out for a walk. Uh, we're going to drive up the M27 now because I live down near Romsey where the farm is. So we are going up to Portsmouth quickly just to grab my car that was in for an MOT yesterday that didn't get MOT'd. So don't know what's gonna happen about that because the garage is now closed for a week. And then as of the 1st of April, I think they're suspending MOT's for six months. Don't quote me, but I think it's on the government website. So I might have to just risk it for a biscuit in that case as the garage closed and I can't get anywhere to MOT it. So that's what we're doing today. So gonna grab my car now up the M27, uh, probably grab a few eggs for a couple of people who want some eggs this morning. So gonna do that and then back to Romsey to Clayton's Eggs Farm to get some lovely free range eggs for delivery Saturday morning. Uh, and that's today's mission. So let's go. Don't know where we're gonna fly like you did sometimes. Seeing eyes of mine. So one of the reasons I want to do these YouTube videos, basically, uh, my I've got five children, and the three oldest children are based in Portsmouth, and my two youngest are in our house in the Southampton, Romsey area. So uh, I'm. Uh, because we're all locked down at the moment, my, my three oldest haven't really got much contact with me. I go and wave at them, wave at them from the garden, but uh, they can't see me on a day-to-day -day basis. So I just thought if I carry on doing YouTube videos day-to-day, -day, one, it helps everyone who's watching the video see what it's like on the streets of Portsmouth at the moment uh, and around the Hampshire area, see who's out, see what's going on. Like a little window into the outside world for everyone who's locked at home. Uh, also, obviously, my kids can't see me, so it's a great way for them to see me on a daily basis. Hey kids. Um, so that's one of the main reasons. Like I said, I'm going to go and see them uh, as much as I can from a, a safe distance in the garden. So the streets like today in Portsmouth. Um, I, like I said, I'm just driving up the motorway now. So far, roads are uh, well, obviously relatively quiet. Uh, I'd say the most eerie thing at the moment is the fact that there's quite a lot of ambulances about and as you drive past them, suddenly the sirens kick off and they fly off. So there's obviously things happening here and there. Could, might be the coronavirus, might be other things, obviously. The virus is obviously a weird one because we, we all know it's going on, but we, at the moment, probably most of us haven't had much contact. So for me, the only sight of the virus at the moment, apart from being on the news, is the ambulances kicking off and roaring around the streets as I'm delivering food boxes. And uh, John's probably seen the same as he's out on delivery. There's the amount of ambulances sort of parked up and then sirens flying on and then, and then they're, they're flying off to someone's house. So probably the most boring update you're ever going to get if you are locked at home. What does the M27 look like today? It kind of looks like a sunny Sunday really. So it's probably about the same amount of traffic as you'd get on a Sunday. Uh, but it's, um, it's, a yeah, it's a beautiful day out there. But it's, um, the, road, the roads are pretty quiet and the, the motorway is probably Sunday level of traffic. So maybe it's a little bit quiet, quieter less people are going anywhere. I suppose if it was sunny, um, a lot of people would be on the motorway going down to Bournemouth Beach or something, but yeah, I'd probably say the roads are like a normal Sunday over the winter, but it is very, very sunny. Okay, so we've had a few questions in why I wear a Noshbox t-shirt while I'm going to Taste of 17 videos. Uh, you've probably seen John's van around Portsmouth with the Noshbox on it. It's now got Taste of 17 on it as well. Basically last year, myself and John took on a business called Noshbox, which was a street food business. We went through the year doing a few festivals, and the idea was to open up the 40 foot cargo container over in uh, Commercial Road opposite the train station, Port of South Sea train station. Uh, at the beginning of the uh, end of last year, that got held back, so we went off and did skate, and then we now had the plan to then we had the plan to open up Noshbox in Commercial Road in the beginning of January. Planning permission for the brakes on that for a little bit, so. We called a good friend of ours called Dave. He had a restaurant space over in 17 Clarendon Road and we all joined forces and opened Taste of 17. 
so that's why I wear a Noshbox t-shirt sometimes when I'm doing the taste videos because we still have Noshbox on the go as well. We also started a YouTube channel which we put these videos onto which is the Noshbox video channel uh, as in on the box so I have Noshbox so kind of food on the box so we can go off and interview other food businesses and put them on our food channel. Obviously as co-owner of the Fisherman's Kitchen and of Taste 17 and Noshbox he keeps everything under one umbrella on the same channel or dealing with food around the Portsmouth area. So that's why I have a Noshbox t-shirt on because these videos are on the Noshbox channel. So we're just coming into Portsmouth now, it's a beautiful day, the, the sea looks blue and glistening, Mother Nature's press the reset button by the looks of it. Okay, let's show you the drive coming into Portsmouth so everyone who's locked at home can see what it's like out there. There you go on the, uh, on the horizon, you can see the Lipstick Tower, the Spinnaker Tower just coming into view, just pointing up over the motorway. Like I said, it's a lovely day. We've got the uh, firefighting training area over on the right hand side, the sea looks amazing. It's got a lovely green turquoise blue glisten to it today. Inside of me, in this sense that I can look at you with love, seeing all that I can learn. Can you stay and I will grow? Back at normal, I've just grabbed my car, sanitised it all down, sanitised the wheels, uh, sanitised door handles, all that sort of bits and pieces. So we've uh, just got back into Romsey now, headed towards the egg farm to pick up uh, hopefully eight trays of eggs ready to box up this weekend. Just got into Romsey now, so egg farm is about five minutes away. Don't know where we're gonna fly like you did sometimes. Seeing eyes of mine. Okay guys, down here in Romsey, just picking up our free range eggs from Clayton's farm. Chickens are running around, happy as can be around a field while we're all cooped up inside. Seems the wrong way around a little bit, but that's just the way it is at the moment. Safety, safety, stay at home. Uh, leave it to us to get the food to your door. So if you do need food, we're delivering Saturday and Wednesday at the moment, and you can order your food via our WhatsApp group 0797 499 And if you're desperate, we can try and get food to you same day or next day. Ideally, Saturday and Wednesday, so we can group all the orders together. We've got Isle of White Milk, Clayton's Farm Eggs down here in Romsey in Hampshire, uh, Butter, Bellord and Brown are dropping off vegetables Saturday morning and fruit, so we can put our veg boxes together to get to you fresh on the day. We've got flour, dry yeast, if you want to make your own bread, have a go at that. We're going to get a video up soon of how to make your own bread. So yeah, so lots going on, keeping ourselves busy, getting food to everyone. So if you need something, please let us know. If you've got a loved one who's obviously stuck inside and needs something and the supermarkets can't get to them, let us know and we'll get to them. Uh, that's it for today. Please like and share the video. So someone else has got the contact details for us, so like and share the video to them. Uh, smash the subscribe button, boom, 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 2020 style as normal. Uh, ring the little bell next to the subscribe button and that will give you notifications as to when we put a video up. And hopefully we can give you a glimpse around the South Sea, Portsmouth and Hampshire area if you are stuck inside. Uh, see you in the next video. This is Gary out. Take care now. Stay safe. Stay at home. Bye.